This is Methat El Masri. Today I'm going to talk to you about building a simple C sharp completion app with Azure Open AI and the Semantic Kernel Tool. Now, the Semantic Kernel Tool is an extension that you can add to Visual Studio code and it facilitates the use of Semantic Kernel. You can create functions and skills without any coding, but once you build those skills, then of course you can incorporate them in a C-sharp application. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a skill. And then after we test the skill, make sure it works, we'll incorporate that in a simple C-sharp console application. You can find the source code for this tutorial at the bottom of this screen you will need the following prerequisites before we can proceed. We need .NET 8.0, which is the current version of .NET. You'll need Visual Studio Code, access to Azure OpenAI, and on there you've got to create an Azure OpenAI service and create a deployment with a model, and the model we're going to be using today is Text Da Vinci. 03. And of course, you need to install the semantic kernel tool inside of Visual Studio. As you can see here, I have already installed the semantic kernel tool in my Visual Studio code. And so let's get started. In a working directory, I'm going to create a folder called SK library. And I'll go into that folder and open up this folder in VS Code by typing code dot. Now, the first thing you do is you go into the command palette and you can get to that by clicking on view command palette. And in here, select add AI endpoint. That is the last thing I did. So it surfaces right at the top. Here you get to choose the kind of service that you want to consume. And I'm going to consume Azure Open AI. You can go directly to Open AI if you have an account with them. In today's demo, I'm going to use Azure Open AI. Click on that. The next thing it asks me is for the deployment or model ID. In my case, it is Text Da Vinci 003. So I'll hit enter here. The next thing it asks is the endpoint for my service. And this here is a fake endpoint simply because I do not want to share my actual endpoint with the world. So I'll hit enter here. The next thing is the Azure Open AI key. And I'm going to enter that right here. I'll hit enter. And if you get this message over here, then you know that it has successfully connected to your endpoint and it's working. It says successfully configured AI endpoint text Da Vinci 003. We can now create a skill. Click on these three dots and select semantic kernel. And this is going to give us the semantic kernel view of our project. In this corner here, I'll click on add semantic skill and I'll click on create a new skill folder for the function. So we're going to navigate to our library. Here I'm going to create a new folder called skills and under skills I'll create another folder called baking and I'll select this baking folder. Next thing is it's going to ask me for the name of the function. So the function I'm going to name it cake recipe because I want to create a skill that provides recipes for cakes. So I'm going to call this cake recipe and hit enter. The function description. For the function description, I'm going to enter recipe for making a cake. I'll hit enter here. We have the infrastructure for creating a skill, the prompt would be in here. And this placeholder is for a variable. So I'll replace enter your prompt here with this. This is essentially my prompt. And it says, I want to bake a fabulous cake. Give me a recipe using the input provided, which is 
this input here. The cake must be easy, tasty, and cheap. I don't want to spend more than $10 on ingredients. I don't want to spend more than 30 minutes preparing the cake. I don't want to spend more than 30 minutes baking the cake. So this is our prompt. This is it. We're done. We can test this. So I'm going to click on this arrow here and it's going to ask me for my input for this. So I will enter chocolate because I like chocolate cakes. And our output is going to show up here. You see it replaced this input with chocolate. And here is my result. Easy chocolate cake recipe and here are my ingredients. These are the instructions and this is the number of tokens that were used and the duration was this much. So that's it folks, we created a skill. Now the next step is using the skill in an application. Let's go into the folder that has our skill and see what we've got in here. We just have a skills folder. We need to create an app here. This is done by typing .NET new and console. It's going to create a console app here. If we type in ls here, we have a program.cs file. Now to use semantic kernel in an application, we need to add a specific package. Let's add that package. .NET add package and the package is Microsoft and simply semantic kernel. And that adds this package. Another package that I want to use is the system configuration configuration manager. And this provides for an easy way to read settings from the app.config file. So I'll add that package, .NET add package, and it is system dot configuration dot configuration manager. These are the only two packages that we need. Back in VS Code, we can see now we've got our program.cs and we have our project file. And in the project file, you can see that these two packages have been added. We can close that. Let's add a new file here. We'll call it app.config. And this file is going to contain our configuration settings. It will look like this. Now these configuration settings, we actually entered them when we created our skill. So for the endpoint, I've got here a fake endpoint, which is something.openai.azure.com. This here is a fake API key. And of course, our deployment name is text DaVinci 003. I'm going to read these values in my console application. So I can close this now. Let's open up program.cs. Of course, in program.cs, we have this hello world code that we don't need. I'm going to delete it. Enter the following code in program.cs. Here we're importing the namespaces that we need. And here we are reading from the app.config file the endpoint, the key, and the deployment name. In this code, we create a builder object and add these services. The only service that we need is the Azure Open AI text generation. And this requires our deployment name, endpoint, and API key. We get a instance of the kernel object by calling builder build. This code here is a path to our skills baking folder. With the import plugin from prompt directory, we get a handle to all the functions that are in that particular directory. We want to get to one of those functions, cake recipe. So with this line of code, we are displaying to the user, enter a cake type you want to bake, and we're going to read in their input. And this represents the type of cake that they're interested in. This is where the magic happens. The kernel object has a method called invoke async and you're actually invoking a particular skill. And the skill is represented by the name of this 
skill, the cake recipe skill. And this is where the input variable is replaced by the input that was entered by the user. This results in a function result string. And here we're just displaying the string to the user. So let us run this app and see what we get. So I'm going to type in .NET run here. It's going to ask me for the type of cake I'm interested in. I'm going to type in lemon and hopefully it will return with a recipe of a lemon cake. Here it is. If you go to the top, you can see here I entered lemon and it's proposing a lemon streusel cake with these ingredients, these toppings, and these baking instructions. I hope you found this useful and it opens up a lot of opportunities for you to start building skills and incorporating some open AI into your intelligent applications. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.